Uh, you are live. Uh, uh. Hi, everybody. Ooh. Live. Uh, you are live. Hey, 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 that's fun. Let's get weird. Let's get uncomfortable. Look at you guys all saying hi to each other. The gang's all here. You're right, Cody. Here we go. A Town's been troubleshooting and she's got it all figured out. For the most part, we'll see. Don't speak too soon. It's gonna be perfect. And if it's not, you won't yell at me, right? Have I ever yelled at you? No. Of course not. Sometimes I do, like, under my breath things. Like what? Is that like the ASMR stuff? Sucks. What? Just fucking sucks. I hear that. That's like, you're doing that audibly, so I can hear it. Right, but that's not yelling. That's worse. Like, outright yell at me rather than, like, some passive... Enough! Oh, that was scary! No, you told me to! You told me to! I know that sounded scary to me, too. I don't like it. Uh, do you have a preference where you want to go? If there's killing, I'm chilling like a villain. Because I'm a Nazi. If you're new, which I don't think anyone here is new, it seems like it's all regulars. This is like the Marie's Crisis Hour <laughs> for gamers. Um, A-Town and I like to play Call of Duty World War II. Why? Because it's the latest game? No. Because that's what we like and that's what we play. Now we play against each other. That means one of us has to be Nazis. I'm Nazis. I don't like Nazis. I'm against the Nazi ideology. But as a player in this game, I lean in and I understand my character. This is someone who feels that these allies are taking away our rights. The rights to murder all Jews. And, uh, is something going wrong? No. I'm just clicking stuff, don't worry. <laughs> and create an Aryan race. We're starting at A-Town's favorite map, USS Texas. Old favorites, my old fling. Well, her old favorite, my nemesis map that I've kind of come to like a little bit. Yeah, you like all the maps now. I'm open to all the maps. Listen, even the map I hate the most, I have a blast. We're playing video games. It's true. Hey, someone just asked if you've been working out with guns. Uh, we've been working out with our Peloton app. We don't even need, don't need a bike. All you need is a mat. I don't know why I feel like really cool and I'm like, yeah, I do the Peloton app before. Like, oh, you have one of those bikes? It's like, no, I just use the app. Yeah. I feel really like, oh, look at this. It's the best thing that ever happened oh. to us. Yeah. The thing about this, I feel like. That's not my. I don't feel like it's my usual gun, but I like it. Oh, let me see. That's the same gun you've used. It just has for a months. different. Yeah, it is. It has a different sound. Is that possible? Oh, that's your gun. That's oh, the same exact gun. Hmm. Weird. Don't you hear? It doesn't sound a little more like tap a tap tap. It's coming from the computer now, so maybe that's what it is. Oh. Yeah, that's the tap dancer uh, that we brought along with Oh, us. you fucking took what to tap tap. You gotta kind of, you gotta send some, you gotta send out some flares a little bit sometimes, because finally. Pitter patter, pitter patter, the sound of my feet. You know, it's so cute. <laughs> you were on a call when I walked into your apartment today, and I, every sound my shoes made, I was just like, shut up. Oh, you were in, I didn't hear it at all. I was so scared I was going to scare you. I know. Well, I got, I did see you behind me in the video. Because, okay. you know, like, come in. And I knew you were coming in around that time. 
Mm-hmm. And then, uh, ooh, got real s- silent. Sorry. We're still playing. <sighs> it's, you just still talk when it happens. Don't worry. I really do think, I know that we're both really good at the game, but I really do think they come because of your arts and your personality. I push on my sleeves a little bit, I'll be honest. It's nice. You know, I mean, uh, not bad. I'm solidly middle-aged. The hottest middle-aged person I know. <laughs> the hottest person I know is probably like a Margot Robbie. I don't know Margot Robbie personally. Kate, did you see Bombshell? No. Margot Robbie and Kate McKinnon. Oh, it's a spoiler. Never mind. It's okay. Uh, they have they have sex in it. How wonderful. Yeah. I texted my friend. I was like, why didn't you anyone tell me about this? Something I would have liked to know. Well, maybe that's exciting that it's not like a massive deal. I mean, it is to you because you love it, but it's like it's not like. Because I love lesbian sex. Yeah, you love when when lesbians are represented in art. Yes, very much. And is it a good thing that no one thought to go like, you know, because it's just it's become well, more actually, normalized? that is a really good point too, because a lot of these things queer bait you, and like they'll advertise a kiss or like some kind of lesbian romance and you get so excited that you go and watch it, you buy the ticket, and then it's not what you wanted it to be and it's it's disappointing. So maybe it's good that they didn't. Yeah. But still, none of my friends Uh. told me. That was me that killed you. Just want you to know that. Whatever. Evs. said something really nice with that story. He just said, representation is best when it's organic to the story and not something that feels like it's shoehorned in after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, and even if it is shoehorned in, like, I've I've had notes before, like, having nothing to do with this, you know, or, like, causes. Whoa, look at that boat that's on fire going by. I see that now. I've never seen that before. Have you ever seen that before? I haven't, but I'm not thinking too hard into it, I guess. You were saying something. That, like, even if you need to put something in a script, you know, for whatever reason, righteous or otherwise, you have to think of it in terms of how can we put this in that makes it absolutely essential to the story. That You know what I mean? Right. We can't imagine life without it after it, you know? Yeah. Like, looking back, it's like in Sex and the City, it's like, without Stan... Like, Stanford was just kind of like a gay pet, almost. Mm. Which is sad. Yeah, it's interesting. I was thinking about it, like... Sex and the City is... It is probably good that it's so glaring. It's so glaring watching it now, and I still love it. But it's still glaring that it's so white. I mean... It's really odd. But it, can I still love it? Love parts of it? And, you know, re, like, I think we have to be able to 
not throw babies out with the bath, bath water all the time, but to uh, be able to watch it and go, wow, it's really dated. It's very glaring how not diverse it is for something that takes place in New York City, especially. But I love it, you know. I loved it, and I, I still, there are things I really love about it in terms of this. Yeah. You know what the one episode that really had, like, black people in it was that one where Samantha dated the chef's sister, or brother. Oh, yeah. Remember that? And it, like, yeah. made the sister out to be a bitch. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. That one doesn't Not quite that. a triumph. But I love, like, I, I love it for, just because I like it, you know, I like it, like, seeing relationships and dynamics and all this stuff, but I understand... does not build up in that way at all. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. I mean, you know, when, when, at a point when there isn't <laughs> racism, when people are represented, then it will be, then certain things will be irrelevant. It won't be counting how many people of color, or, you know, this or that, you know, because it's, it won't be an issue anymore. But it, it's even like, you know, my whole thing with how Jewish actresses never get to play Jews. Like, it, it's it's kind of bananas. Like, any, Jew, you know, there are so few roles that are Jewy. And then to not let a Jewy actress play it is bananas. But I challenge you guys to tell me a Jew who plays a Jew female, especially if the character deserves love or is courageous, you just don't see it. Not not Miss Maisel, not fucking RB, RBG and on the basis of sex, not um, your favorite, the Jew girl in the wall. Jew in the wall. Really, that's what I should be saying, but youth, when we were playing, we'd go, Jew girl in the wall. Um, you know, I love that movie, and, and all of these things, even like I just saw Sarah Snook is playing like a, a super Jewy like woman from the pogroms of whenever, you know, like, all those things individually are great. Actors should be able to play all sorts of people, but fucking never? I mean, this face can't be much else, Italian. Yeah, I, I play, Jews get to play Italians. Italians get to play Jews, probably, you know, but like, I would welcome it all. That's what's the beauty of acting is that all sorts of people play different kinds of people that they aren't. But can you even think of one? Like, there has to be a baseline where it's kind of like anything, you know? I think the only time a Jewish woman plays that lovable Jewish woman is like when they're the creator of the show. Like who? I feel like, like, like Rachel Bloom. Yeah, Rachel Bloom. Like, she created that exactly. show. Sarah Silverman program, you know? What's that? Oh, it was a show on Comedy Central. It's like Aughts. one of my favorites. <laughs> but I mean, truly, Aughts. please come at me. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, Maya Bialik. Yeah, yes, she's Jewish and she's Jewy, but the role isn't like the role of a Jewy. No. person, but yes, that's great. It's great that she's on mainstream television being so Jewy. But, you know, I mean, come on. And yes, there are Jewish actors, there are <laughs> Jewish actresses that are, there's Gal Gadot most recently, and there's Natalie Portman. I fucking worship both of them, but they're Israeli s- stunners. Like, there's a little bit of a caveat, but it's not. It's great. And and also, it doesn't count if you say hidden Jews. People who have changed their last names or no one would know is Jewish. Also known as Jew Girls in the Wall. Jew Girl in the Wall. That was a woman named Mackenzie from New Zealand played the Jew Girl in the Wall. I mean, Jojo Rabbit. Like, I love it. It's, you know, it hurts me, but it's like, I love it. But it's like... They found a way to make a Holocaust comedy without having to cast any gross Jews. Yeah, the main guy has Jewish in him, sure. Yeah, he found a Cohen somewhere in there. Great. 
uh, Scarlett Johansson's got a little Jew in her, but you know, I mean, these are not outward Jews. The, these are people who have never been held back by their Judaism. And also, don't at me with the, uh, it's hard for Arabs, it's hard for Asians, it's hard for, yeah, fuck yeah it is. I'm just talking as a Jew. And that's that. You know what? I actually do think Sarah Snook is Jewish, and her original last name she changed from Schnook. Schnook. No, I looked it up. She ain't Jewish, but that's a great one too. I mean, fuck it. I fucking love her. This isn't about anything against any of those individual people, at all. It's just, just like we were saying, would be nice if there was a baseline where it isn't glaring. The Jewy women actresses never get to play outwardly Jewish roles, especially. What, about Vice? what did she play? I had disobedience. She oh, I don't Jewish know. Jewish lesbian. Ex, oh, ex nice. Hasidic. Okay, good. That was a spit in the mouth movie. Ooh. Well, that's nice. That's one. Of them. That's one. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> There are so few roles that are, like, about Jews anyway, like... Like Miss Maisel, there was no one, there were no Jewish actresses that would be good enough, or pretty enough, or what. But I do feel bad saying that, because, you know, people should play whatever, but it's just hard when it's just super fucking glaring. Yeah, what's that same... Ingrid Bergman, right? She's Jewish? I just assumed she is. Is Ingrid Bergman Jewish? I'm like, they're Siri now. Or She's Alexa. gotta be. She played Golda Meir. Not that that means, but I think that was like a thing. She was Jewish actress. Rachel Weisz, yeah. You don't see many like American Jewy Jews. You know what I mean? We're watching Mrs. America. Bella Abzug wasn't even a Jewish actress, you know? I mean, she's a fucking great actress. It's just like... It, you'd be hard-pressed to find a, a Jewish woman actress that gets to play someone who deserves love. Yeah, there are a couple, like, supermodel-y ones, yeah, but... No. Or brave. Or heroes. You know? Bergman was Swedish. What? A, a Swedish Jew? Oh, damn. I just thought, sure, she'd be. Thank you. Swedish. Not Igmar Bergman. Ingrid Bergman. A Swedish Jew would be called a Swedish white fish. Like Swedish fish and white fish. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. Once you explained it. Ooh. That was an under the breath thing. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's more hurt. of like a side, yeah, side mouth. You got a real nerd, Silverman. I feel like I had another Jewish comment. Good Shabbos? Good Shabbos, everybody. I keep stabbing this, trying to stab this guy, and he's, he's on my team. <laughs> team. Follow Nazi. Let's go Nazis. <laughs> Let's go Nazis. Oh, got killed clapping. For that, that was you played softball, yeah? Me? Yeah. I played for the state of New Hampshire as a f fast pitch pitcher. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that was really good. <laughs> I don't know why I'd be so demonstrative about it. I don't want you to watch this one back because... I didn't make a face when you said that. <laughs> I think I have a lazy eye now from that eye roll. Yeah. Proud of you. And you murdered me. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, I like Point Du Hall. Oh, you know what? You didn't clip? Whoa. Inside the car! Wait a minute. Am I crazy? What? Coming back here in peacetime. That's clipped. Huh. That I sent to you yesterday. That's what I thought, but... Or is it posted? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. That's what... 
We're trying to really build a foundation here. I believe in this. We talk about important things. Mostly unimportant, but you know. Entertaining. Ugh. I miss sex. What? I miss sex. You know when you have sex and then you need to have it all the time? It's easier when you don't have sex for a while. I had a cluster of sex recently, and now it's like gone. I mean him. <laughs> There's a person attached to that penis. Oh my god, are you quoting my ex-boyfriend? He said that once. Oh no, I just... There is a person on the end of this penis! <laughs> I know. I just really do, like, appreciate it. I'll be honest, there are a lot of, and it's not anyone's fault, but wildly disappointing penises, and I, mean, I feel terrible saying that. I mean, if, if someone was said that about women, I'd be real mad, but, you know, with a woman, you kind of know what you have. You can see, like, the shape. With a man, you got to get all the way into the, to, to the point of intimacy. And, you know, even guys with, I would say, micro penises have a lot of confidence. It's just impossible to know. And then, you know, it's that instinct that women have that we've kind of been taught to, like, if a, if a man, if we, if a man seems to be in an embarrassing situation, we, we have to take care of it, you know, take care of their, their egos, their feelings. So it's like... As soon as you unwrap a penis and you see it's a micro penis, your instinct is to go like, wow, you know, and act like it's, it's not excruciatingly small, you know. And so I guess it's not really fair to them because they don't, they'll never learn that they have a disappointing penis and need to learn other skills. Although a couple of those men with the small penises did have other skills. But this one, recently, this human person, very masculine penis. What's, what makes a masculine penis? <laughs> it's, I mean, I am probably being sexist in 30 different ways. I just, it's just, gets large and very hard and... It's, it's just all man, just masculine. I just killed you. No, I know. Right in the face. Yeah, no, I saw. Oh, I can do a while. Huh. I guess with women, though... For yeah. a man, no, for a man. Oh, sorry, I said no. Um, oh, oh my God, Mary, fucking. <laughs> you know, Mary did that shake thing, pee chills thing, oh. which actually I just did before. It scared me. Okay, with a man. No, with a woman. A man wouldn't know that a woman has like a looser vagina. Like, that's no true. Man. Like I assume that's a bummer for a man to like, you know. What is that like? Hot dog down a football field? I just think it's cave. Yeah. True. True. Clo. Ooh. But what about? Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Like, have you seen disappointing vaginas that you're like surprised by and have to act like it's not a bummer? No. Pretty happy with most vaginas. Yeah. And obviously, if I'm in love with someone, you know, to love someone and be excited by their genitals is truly a gift. Yeah. I just, it's like this thing of, I've been around penises and I just know nothing about them, but it's like, I know so much about vaginas and how they work, and penises, and just like, I don't know. You still don't know where the pee comes out of. 
urethra. Yeah. was for uh who wanted our perfect handshake yesterday okay it was not gary no it was not gary it was maybe seagrams oh can you see mary oh no she's, she's just right there oh congratulations a town I'm happy for you you needed this win i did you know, Are you the cutest dog that's ever been a dog? Yes. That's your voice. That's so crazy. Your, someone, just plain Mike goes, no, your urethra. That's good, just plain Mike. My eyes going to look on here so I don't have to show you guys my nostrils so bad. You have great nostrils. Thanks. Iconic nostrils. Oh, Mayra. Parsima, Pariso, per, parsimonia. Lesbians doesn't have those problems. Come on, grammar kid. I like that. Lesbians doesn't. That's how lesbians talk. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Learn you something new oh. today. Oh. Okay. My Trump text. I Ugh. still signed up for those Trump texts, but today's was just. Do you support President Trump? Show your patriotism this holiday weekend by registering to vote today. I mean, That's I like I don't the want those most normal. normal. Yeah, it's just interesting. Are we already at one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. I'm sad. That was so fast. You know what happens after this, though? Uh, Hamilton. After we watch this down. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh my god, this is group. No, no, no. Is it for five minutes or ten minutes? No, I did it again. This one does. Oh, this one counts for me. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Congratulations, Jupiter. Jordan, you haven't seen Hamilton? Get, gotta get. Uh... Hamilton's an absolute must see. Whoa, yes. Disney. Hi. Oh, oh Mary, you choked. Perestroika. What's perestroika? It's, um, I think, like, uh, not a battle, but a boat, maybe? Is it a German U-boat? I don't know. What's perestroika? Alexa... All right, 10 minute? Yeah. Fake Hitler fact, in some circles, Hitler is as well remembered for his jump shot as he is for the Holocaust. <laughs> We're gonna play basketball again. Last Perestroika was USSR's political and economic reforms under Gorbachev. Yeah. Mr. Gorbachev. It's my Reagan. Oh, you know what we should have um No, we should have done for this split a ginger ale. Oh, I'd love to chug a fucking ginger ale right now. Line them up. All right, one on one. Oh. Ah, fuck you. How'd you do that? First blood. Damn it. Pitter patter, Mary's a dog. Sad. He's sad. Who died? Who died and made you die? What? 
Oh, or two thousand new shoes. <gasps> oh no! Aww. We got a new subscriber. We just want to no, say hi. No, you twat! Hi, new subscribe. Fucking shit, A Town. Sucks to suck, I guess, huh? Yeah. Fucking... Ah, oh, give me a beat to just get my shit together. This is war, babe. Babe. <laughs> good job. Ooh, that felt good. You were good. tricky. You were sneaky. Looking at the screen? <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm, you're a dog. Mary. <laughs> Someone's looking at my screen. I wasn't looking at your screen. You're looking at my screen. I can hear when you go down. No, you. <laughs> Fuck! What's it sound Damn like? Damn it. It sounds like this. Oh. <laughs> Fucking shit balls. Shit balls. Oh, there are the tickles. God damn it. You having fun? No. Why did I'm not screen cheating? What are you looking at, A Town? I can That's see it in my periphery. That really stuck to you, huh? I had to scratch my nose. Oops. I Itch. have to scratch mine too. You need to get it for you. Okay. I will. <laughs> you are murdering me today. This is embarrassing. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, awesome. this is it. I'm just gonna fucking Rambo this shit. <laughs> Which Rambo movie was that? Rambo, Jewish Blood. Yay! I finally got the chance to stab her in the heart, you Jill. I'm gonna fucking kill you tonight that's a real song we're, we're not gonna not, take yeah. it and the seagulls Ugh. I just want to kill you one more time so five minutes left <sighs> Look at all your bodies. I mean, it's just dead bodies of mine. All right, join the stop. pack. Together in the afterlife. Come on, man. I just died on top of an old body of me <laughs> that died. Where are you? All right, this is it. I'm killing you this time. This is goddamn 100% me killing you. Liar. This is, I 
feel very frustrated by this. I know we're not like having like even like goofy time because uh, this is the worst you've ever killed me. Even like in the beginning. Oh, finally. I know. <sighs> Fuck. Where are you? I don't even know where you are. I don't even know who you are. I hate that you're even half paying attention. I'm putting my heart and soul into this. Heart and soul sounds like. I don't think so. This is a little variation. I'm gonna finish my salad once we're done this. Really, I'm gonna finish my salad. How much time do I have to cat kill you? I'm not telling you. You were in the nook. You feel betrayed. God damn it! They all believe in you, though. Everyone believes in you. Really? Yeah. I'm just, I just don't have it today. I don't have it. Except that. What was happening there? I killed the fuck out of you just now. Someone said you'd make a great job of the hut. Why? I don't know. They didn't say why. I think you'd be a good Jar Jar Banks. Do you see that? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I like to see the replay of that baby. Oh, you... Look at your dead body. <laughs> Hey, look how mad you got just because one time I killed you out of fucking a million. We cool? I mean, I don't know, are we? that. I, I was aiming so hard. Fuck you. God damn you. God damn you to hell. Good charge. Thank you. Oy. Oh, you're just gonna sit there? I get it. My shoulders hurt. No, I'm playing. My shoulders just hurt. Mary's butt is so bony on my stomach. I guess that's what people say when I sit on people's laps, but... Wow. There you go, you're perfect. Good. What? Three seconds! Where are you? Brutal. Brutal. And yet! She got the bronze. I don't believe it. She got the bronze. She shouldn't believe it, but she does because she did and she is. She's, she's what? The bronze medal or uh, bronze medal winner. Okay. Muzzle tov. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> um, what's that? Oh, 
back in my day, you just had to get a sense of humor and accept the things that upset you. Yes, Joger, you're right. Listen, when I came to show business, I wanted to be, I had dreams of being, a, um, you know, a, 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 an ingenue. It became very clear to me that wasn't going to happen. You know why? Because girls like me get to play the friend that says the exposition, but he's a lawyer and he loves you. Or we can be the cunt girlfriend before the guy realizes what love can really be. Or we can be that guy's book agent. You know, these are the limits. So I became a comedian. I think the world is lucky you became a comedian. Me too. I mean, I always was. I've always wanted to be a comedian, but I also wanted to... I had dreams of deserving love in uh, in art. Hey, it's all right. Jews run Hollywood, right? <laughs> For I, some reason, Jews run Hollywood, but I share a washer dryer with my floor. Not complaining. Love my life. Just, you know, just funny. Yeah, School of Rock. I can, I can play. It was so funny because, I mean, I love that movie so much and I'm glad that I was in it, but it was like, I was so funny on that set. I was like walking on air every day, you know, because I just, it, I was just, I got to be really funny hanging out on that set. And then I saw the movie and I realized, oh, right, the part where the cameras are rolling, I'm just like a cunty bummer. Yeah, but now I, that's the thing with School of Rock. As an adult woman now, your character was completely in the right. She was she right. Was completely Who's going to put up with a fucking right. roommate who doesn't ever pay rent and is a dick? That said, she wasn't. She may have been right, but she was. No one liked her. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm not saying like, oh, we should have. That she should have been the movie. You know, I mean, the movie's fucking amazing. Yeah. Well, I've said my piece in pieces. Hope you have a great 4th of July. And I hope your dogs and your uh, veterans and your um, people of PTSD from gun violence uh, make it through okay. I suggest weed. Always. See you in